back at the beautiful Rise Center in the heart of Amsterdam. It's Glory 31. Time now for our welterweight Ladies finals. and gentlemen, this is the tournament final that Amsterdam was waiting for. His semifinal was an all-out war that resulted in a split decision victory. Please welcome back, Johan Kangolo. Not even sure if Johan Kongolo has caught his breath since Todd Grisham interviewed him backstage. Earned the victory and immediately has to come back and do it again. Yeah, and he's got a, a, a motivated Myrtle Grunhart too, so he's in for a big tough fight here. And again, these two know each other very well. And their coach, Big Mike, is actually sitting out of this fight um, and not cornering either of his fighters. Number two ranked welterweight, Johan Congolo, ready to do it again. A knockdown in each of the three rounds of his semifinal propelled him to a technical knockout win. Welcome back, Mertel Grunha. Mertel Grunhart kicked off the evening here at the Rye Center with a very tough victory over Kareem Ben Mansour. He did, Joseph, have a little bit longer of a rest period in the locker room. That may be a factor here tonight. That definitely plays an advantage. That little bit of extra recovery, you know, helps you recover, get your heart rate down, maybe get some of the swelling out of your joints. But again, both of these guys are very experienced guys, and I'm pumped to see this fight. This was the fight that everyone was anticipating and hoping for here in Amsterdam. Groon Hart and Congolo. It always helps, too, to catch your breath a little bit and take your time entering into the glory ring. Glory welterweight contender finals are set. Mertel Grunhart, Johan Kongo meet in the finals. And we check out the numbers here for this battle. Grunhart comes in 29 years old, Kongolo 28. The height advantage will go to Grunhart. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this contender tournament final is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he now runs his professional record to 62 wins with seven losses, 45 big wins by knockout. Standing five feet, 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 169 pounds, 76.6 kilos. Back tonight, fighting out of Switzerland, here is Johan. Congolo. His opponent fighting out of the white corner now has a professional record of 61 wins with 22 losses, three bouts scored even, and 35 big knockouts. Standing six feet, one inch tall, 1.85 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 168 pounds, 76.3 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands, please welcome back Mertel, the Predator, Grunha. And your referee in charge of this bout, Tobias Gerald. Joan? Mertel? Gentlemen, this is three rounds in the Glory Contender Tournament of the World Weight Division. So, you know the rules, so respect my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Fight good, fight clean, fight hard, may the best man win. Any question from you, Johan? Any question from you, Mortal? 
Touch gloves, back to your corners. In the corner. Judge, in the corner. Back to your corner. Judge, back to the corner. A future title fight to the corner. against Judge. current champion Nikki Done. Holskin on the line fight. between Yo An Congolo in the black gloves and Murto Grunart in the white gloves. So what I see that the biggest advantage for Congolo here is his conditioning and the ability to, to throw more, more volume to be able to slow down Myrtle. But again, I think the big weapon for Myrtle here is that switch left knee or those knees to the head. Ron Kruk, Joseph Valtellini, and Todd Grisham here in Amsterdam. What a matchup. This is what we were hoping for. Grunhart does come in with the height and reach advantage. Could be the fresher fighter as well. I think a good strategy for, for Myrtle will be to be patient and kind of keep his, keep the fight on the outside. And Congo is going to want to try to get inside to use his punches and low kicks. This has the feeling of a glory championship bout. Lose the contender tournament title because both of these guys are at the top of the division and gave the champion Holskin all they could handle in their last fight. Both are looking for a rematch with the champ. Congo is really using that double jab to try to get inside because that single jab just isn't enough. You need to double up your, your strikes to try to get in on, in, on the inside. Maybe a little bit of a feeling out period here in the first Ooh. round, especially compared to how right. these guys came out in their semi-final bouts, just came out firing. These guys know each other really well. I'm sure they put many rounds together sparring in the gym. So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to, to land those big shots. They know what's coming. Impressive counter there from Grunhart going to work on the body of Congolo. As we approach one minute to go in round number one. Ertel Grunhart misses with the flying knee, but continues to tee off and tosses Congolo to the North ground. North no North knockdown. Fight. And a warning to Grunhart. Congolo needs to be careful for that knee. He can't really stay in that range. You gotta either stay out or stay in. If you're standing there, you know Myrtle's trying to set you up with that. But you also see when Myrtle throws his jab, he really puts his heel out. So that, that's a good time for Congolo to use the low kick. Solid body shot from Congolo delivered. Back to Grunhart up. Now Grunhart. He continues to fly. Fighters exchanging in the middle of the glory ring to end round number one. Well, no big Mike. Both these teams representing Mike's gym, but he said that as he trained both of these guys for this tournament, he would let the rest of his coaching staff deal with it. I wonder what he's doing backstage right now. What I would like to see from Congolo in this next round is to be a little bit more active. I think he's just testing out his conditioning right now. They know each other, they respect each other, but if Congolo really wants to win, he's got to get inside and be a little bit more active with his combination. Where I think Myrtle's doing a great job at keeping his distance, keeping range, staying relaxed. Crux is out. Come on, guys. Let's go. Ready? Fight! Round two underway. We'll see if these fighters pick up the pace here in the second round. Remember, in a tournament final, three knockdowns in a round and four in the entire bout will result in a TKO. Kick blocked by Congolo. Congolo right now usually sets up his low kick with his hands, but 
it would be really wise no to kind of shut down the jab of Myrtle. So as soon as Myrtle throws that jab, that's the timing for the low kick. You don't always have to set that low kick up off of your punches. Total punches, a shocker right now. Grunhart dominating as Congolo only landed 6% per of his shots. Myrtle's making it very difficult for Congolo to get inside using that jab. No doubt. But that knee is going to be the big weapon in this fight if Myrtle's going to land it. Myrtle Grunhart was very vocal. He was not thrilled that Johan Congolo came over to Mike's gym. I think he has something to prove here tonight. Body shot from Congolo delivered. Pushing Grunhart back up against the ropes. Being the shorter fighter, it's a good, good idea to hit the body first and then go to the head. Midway through round number two. Up. Always a key, of course, the ringside doctor cleared both these fighters, but you just don't know how much damage these two took in that first semifinal. High kick blocked from Congolo. Runehart throwing some high knees, slipping through the guard, not doing much damage. Myrtle also needs to be careful too. When you're jumping in with big knees like that, your head's also open. Especially Congo being a big heavy puncher and throwing round punches. That's an easy way to get caught throwing a knee coming in. This is what Congolo needs to do. Keep the fight here. Get Myrtle against the ropes. It limits the knees and it keeps him scoring. Great exchange from both Congolo and Grunhardt. Under 30 seconds to go in round two. And big knee Myrtle Grunhardt floors Johan Congolo. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep your hands up. Are you okay? Can Congolo survive? Big shots Help. from Myrtle Grunhardt. Hey, if you do it again, I will stop the fight, okay? Saved by the bell, Johan Congolo. But Myrtle Grunhardt was warned for a late shot. Against a shorter fighter who likes to come in aggressive with his boxing, that knee is very dangerous. Let's take a look. Oh, he kind of stepped outside to the left and put that knee right between the guard of Congolo. That was enough to do it. Slipped the knee through. It dropped Congolo, who is saved by the bell. We'll see if he can shake it off and come back here in round number three. But Congolo is in a deep hole now. Yeah, he has to do a lot this round. He's got to put Myrtle down if he wants that shot right against Nicky. Right corner. Stay it. Third on, and guys. final round. Myrtle Grunhart dropping <laughs> Johan Congolo in the late stages of round number two. Congolo is going to need a miracle here in the third round. No clinching. Grunhart once again throwing the high knees. That's what dropped Congolo in the second. I like to see Myrtle mix in some kicks on the outside too. Keep some distance, throw some kicks, and then mix in that knee. Don't be too predictable. There he goes. Throw that kick, then mix in some knees up the middle. Just missed with a wicked high kick. And another knee from Grunhart. Grunhart now taking control of this fight. Yeah, he's just relaxed now. He's picking his punches. Congolo needs to just kind of counter back with some big round punches. Back kick missed from Congolo. And Grunhart continues to push the pace. 
under two to go Kongo in round shot. three. He's showing a lot of heart staying in the pocket and throwing, but he can't just stand there. He's going to have to move, get close, do something. If you're just a standing target like that, that's where Myrtle's going to pick you apart and land those knees. Watch your head. I think Myrtle Grunhardt is making this fight personal. Wasn't happy that Congolo came to train at Mike's gym. Now he's taking it out on his teammate, Johan Congolo, who somehow has managed to come back after being dropped in the second round. And Congolo looks like the fresher fighter here. Myrtle has always had suspect conditioning where he likes to go very explosive and aggressive in the early rounds and kind of lose that conditioning throughout the fight. Under a minute to go in round three. Congolo can end the fight in an instant. 45 career knockouts. Grunhart breathing hard. Congolo in need of a knockout. Throwing spin attacks like this when you're really tired is not a very good idea. Under 30. Congolo backed up right into the corner, blocks the knee. Eats a jab from Grunhardt and a knee. Ten seconds to go in the glory welterweight tournament contender finals. What a display from both Johan Congolo and Mertel Grunhart. Incredible fight here at Glory 31. The decision is coming up next. Well, what a fight from these two welterweights, Mertel Grunhart and Johan Congolo. One of the biggest weapons in this fight for Myrtle was that knee. He was able to use and land more of his boxing, and that big knee in the second round is what definitely gave him the win, in my opinion. But again, round three, Congolo did not stop. He kept coming forward and landing some big punches, and it looked like Myrtle slowed down. But again, in my opinion, it was that second round knockdown that sealed Myrtle the, the win of this tournament. The glory world, the strike stats here as we break them down. Grunhart landing with 41% of his strikes, but the Kibi being doing much more damage and knocking Congolo down. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges scorecard. They score this bout 29-27. 29, 27, 29, 27, a unanimous decision, all for your winner. And now, welterweight contender, tournament champion, Bertel Grunhardt. No one can say you Peter didn't present earn your the title shot Tigers trophy. Our chief executive officer, Mr. John Franklin, and our head of talent operations, Mr. Cor Hemmers. The hardware goes to our champion, Myrtle Grunhart, who is now standing by with Todd Grisham. Myrtle, congratulations on your victory. What was it like to fight a teammate and a friend? Um, for me, it's just business in the ring. You know, I did it before in uh, K1 finals. Uh, I fought against my teammate, Artur Kishenko, and uh, I knocked him out in the third round. For me, it's just business. We were good friends, but we were in the ring. We have to do business because I... I have a little kid to, uh, you know, I got to make the papers. <laughs> you got to buy the diapers, right? That's right, and I love the papers, too. <laughs> uh, Nikki Holson, the champion of the world. You fought him in December. You probably get another shot again. What's changed since that last fight? One, 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 one thing. Nikki, I'm back, baby. Back in line. Whoa. Look forward to seeing it. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. One more time for Myrtle Grunhardt.
Big win for Mertel Grunhardt in calling out the champion, Nikki Holskin, who he lost to at Glory 26. But it was an extremely close fight and a great show of sportsmanship between Congolo and Grunhardt.